And well, guys, I just woke up and that's why I'm talking like this really low in order to, well, not wake up everyone here. But it finally happened. AMD just announced FSR 3.1 and lots of new things are coming. Lots of things that will indeed help the common user, like you can help my channel by watching today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mo. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So once again, guys, yes, it finally happened. AMD FSR 3.1 announced at GCD 2024. FSR 3 available um, and upcoming in 40 games. Now, this is not really relevant. Well, of course it is, uh, at least if the next FSR 3 implementations come to be, well, good because the first implementation the first implementations were actually were actually fluid but the most recent implementation especially with a 3.03 version of fsr3 seem to not be as fluid as they should if you use the mods it is fluid so i believe it is either the version or the implementation of the mods and it has been at least 11 months since we had some news on the upscaling technology from amd we had fsr3 which is basically fsr 2.2 with frame generation but with fsr 3.1 the upscaler is also improved <laughs> yeah, boy. and well like md says announced today on gcd 2024 high performance rendering in snowdrop using amd fidelity fx super resolution 3 fsr 3 presentation amd fsr 3.1 will have some significant improvements new capabilities and updates starting with upscaling image quality improvements improved temporal stability at rest and in movement, less flickering and slash or shimmering and fizziness around objects in motion. So FSR actually had more detail than the LSS and had less ghosting in most scenarios, but at the same time it had less ghosting, but way, way more shimmering or like they call it, um, fizziness, let's say around objects in motion and ghosting reduction and better preservation of details. And ghosting was the second worst part of FSR, uh, of FSR upscaling in some scenarios. For example, I remember the FSR implementation in Immortals of Avium, where the guy was actually changing the, the gauntlet uh, and we had an horrible, horrible ghosting that did not happen with TAA and did not happen with the LSS as well. So it only happened with FSR and once again it's ghosting basically. And with FSR 3.1 we have ghosting reduction and better preservation of detail. We also have the coupling FSR 3 upscaling from frame generation. And oh! Oh, thank you very much, AMD. Thank you very much, AMD. This is one of the things, this is and was one of the things that I was looking mostly forward, which is being able to use frame generation without any kind of tying to upscaling. One of the things that I like the most about frame generation is, for example, being able to use it with native TAA. I love to do it with Cyberpunk 2077 and I love to do it with The Witcher 3. Basically, any game that can use frame generation without upscaling, usually, usually I'll do it. If I can get, let's say, at least 70, 80 FPS without any kind of upscaling, I will just use frame generation. And for example, if you don't really like FSR 3 or FSR 2.2 or even FSR 3.1, you can simply use another upscaler like for example XCSS or even if you're using an, an NVIDIA GPU like the the previous RTX cards for, for example RTX 2000 and 3000 that can use the latest version of the LSS but can't use frame generation. That means that you can use the LSS and use AMD's frame generation at the same time officially and damn these are big news. We also have the new AMD Fidelity FX API, which makes it easier for developers to debug and allow forward compatibility with updated versions of FSR. Developers still struggle in some scenarios to implement FSR compared to how they implement uh, the LSS frame generation. And I know some developers by now, and they, th th this is exactly what they told me. It is easier to implement frame generation through the NVIDIA tools than through the AMD ones, even though that AMD has indeed uh, everything opened, okay? They just shared their FSR3 frame generation technology. Um, but still, this really, really is a good thing. The new FidelityFX API that makes it easy 
for developers or at least easier. So that's a great thing. MDFSR 3.1 will be available for developers on GPU Open in quarter two, basically in like a month, I guess. So it's really, really soon. And will be coming to games later this year. First game supporting FSR 3.1 will be Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And by the way, if by this time you're thinking that AMD just took too long, well, remember that before NVIDIA releases anything, they, they actually have the technology kind of a year or even more than that sometimes uh, in the background. And well, it actually took AMD maybe uh, half a year or even more than that in order to be able to, to introduce a new version of FSR. Nonetheless, I believe that AMD has been working on this for quite some time, obviously. And that's why we heard some rumors of AMD and Sony actually, uh, actually doing um, an upscaling, an upscaling and frame generation technology together. Now Sony, actual, we had some rumors of Sony really, really having that technology, and I believe that FSR 3.1 is kind of a stepchild or something like that, uh, basically a child or maybe a brother of that same technology presented by Sony. The first announced game to be getting AMD FSR 3.1 is Ratchet and Clank Rift. Apart from Insomniac, Insomniac Games, sorry, Nixus Software and Sony Interactive Entertainment. And like we were talking about the Sony, uh, Sony AMD development of an upscaler and frame generation technique well i believe that it was kind of obvious since they they are both working together that the first game would be a sony title the game update will have a goodness of fsr 3.1 including decoupling frame generation from upscaling so it can be used with the other upscaling solutions the game supports so if you don't really like fsr 3.1 even though it seems better than xcss uh, you can use XESS or once again DLSS if you have it there. Look at, for example, the difference in between FSR 2.2 and FSR 3.1 in terms of, of temporal stability. And I mean, this is insane. Look at the difference. The difference is really, really big. If you look at the FSR 2.2 in the same exact area, we have lots, lots of shimmering, lots of noise. For example, in areas where we have, um, where we have the light, like the foliage, for example, we have lots and lots of shimmering, while FSR 3.1 actually has a way, way more stable image. If you look at it, yeah. Although, since we have a more stable image, we did lose some detail, and and that might be a counterpart of the of the at least the technology so far. So in order to achieve higher stability, we also lose some detail. That's something that happens with the LSS as well. And if you say it doesn't, well, you don't really know the LSS that well, because it does. Especially in terms of, mov of movement, sorry, in order to achieve better stability, the LSS has way more ghosting than FSR 2.2, and that's why. In this scenario, I don't know about the ghosting sincerely, but it seems that it has improved as it shows here on the bottom, but we'll, we'll get there. But as for the temporal stability, it is much better. Now you might think, well, but if we look at these, um, well, the image quality is much is much lower. So in terms of quality, for for example, the foliage is much more blurred out. The same for the the metallic part here, the red metallic part. Yeah, it's it's way blurrier. But we don't really know how much zoomed in the image is. So for example, if we have a three hundred percent zoom or four hundred percent zoom, the difference won't be noticeable in real gameplay. Because uh, what you notice the most, of course, is your character, your opponents, and so on, especially in Ratchet and Clank. If this is really zoomed in, it will be a major improvement because you can definitely notice the shimmer uh, when you're looking far away, but you won't really notice the reduction of detail if this is just really, really far away. Once again, depends on how much zoomed in these images are. If they aren't zoomed in, then, well, you'll, you'll definitely notice the difference in, in quality. Now we have ghosting reduction. Man, once again, this is one of the things that annoyed me the most in some titles, and it happens as well in, of course, as it shows here, happens as well in Ratchet and Clank in some scenarios. And look at the difference in between AMD FSR 2.2 and AMD FSR 3.1. The difference is insane. For example, if we look at the 2.1, we have major ghosting in these movements, and this is this is exactly what happens when we're changing the gauntlets in Immortals of Avium. This is exactly what happens, exactly. You see that ghosting trail uh, when he's changing the gauntlet, and this is how AMD FSR 3.1 now looks. So way, 
way less ghosting and it looks just much better. It's definitely, definitely the way to go. And even on this one, on this part, you can notice the ghosting here and there, while this one uh, almost delivers no ghosting. And in terms of, remember the detail that we were talking about before? Well, even if you look at the background, and I'm pretty sure that this is zoomed a bit as well, even if you look at the background, yes, we have basically the same detail or even more detail with less ghosting and the overall picture looks much, much better and much more fluid. So it's a major, a major improvement for FSR 3.1. These GIF examples were taken from video captures of Ratchet and Clank running at 1080p using AMD FSR 2.2 slash 3.1 performance mode. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart will be getting 3.1 in a game update coming later in later this year. Well. 1080p, 1080p performance mode. If this is the, the 1080p performance mode, it means that we're basically upscaling for from 540p, from 540p to 1080p and still the image quality improves a lot. If this is the performance, or at least if this is the quality increase, upscaling from, four, from, from 540p, to 1080p, this is a major leap in terms of quality. I can tell you right away by looking at these that this is a major leap in terms of quality. Because if you use FSR or if you know a little about FSR, you know that the biggest down point versus the LSS is the upscaling quality in lower render resolutions. And if we get this quality improve improvement upscaling from 540p to 1080p, which is literally the worst point that we can get with FSR, the improvements with quality settings and higher render resolution, for example, improve, uh, upscaling from 1080p to 4K or upscaling from 960p to 1440p, which is basically FSR quality settings at 1440p, will make the game perform much better. If this is the worst scenario, let's say that, uh, in terms of upscaling for FSR, well, the best scenario will be crazy good. And well guys, that's all for today's video. Basically, I just wanted to announce uh, for you guys that didn't watch the GCD 2024 that FSR 3.1 is coming. And I'm really, really eager to see it and test it for you guys, especially, especially testing it. I love testing things. <laughs> most times, at least most times. And, and yeah, guys, it's just really, really good to see AMD finally bringing some news on the upscaler part. And like, like we saw before, uh, if, that's the worst case scenario, let's say that for FSR, well, the best case scenario will be much, much better and will definitely make things way, way more even upscaling wise with the LSS and XESS. I'm waiting to see it. Thanks for watching, that's all for today's video and leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about what you saw here in terms of temporal ability and um, and of course in terms of shimmering and in terms of ghosting. Just let me know because I really want to know your opinion. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.